everybody, my name is Ray. I am the owner of the North London Riding Schools. I choose today's Wednesday, November 2nd, to show you some uh, videos and help, hopefully help the students to improve the driving school, the driving skills and uh, be prepared for the road test, whether for G2 or whether for G. Check right, right my spot and we turn if it's safe to do so. We drive in the right lane. Now right turn yellow, we will stop prior to the line. And wait for the light to change. While we are waiting for the red light, you head movement, you head has to move to the left, right, watching for potential hazard, for pedestrian, light change, you should be fully aware. Now light change, you have a quick scan left to the right, make sure no car passing the red light and we continue driving. The speed limit is 60, we put the speed to the required speed limit. Try to be accurate, that's the best way of best way of your driving. Don't go 10 over or 10 lower or 5 over or 5 less, that's not good. Try to be accurate all the time. About 50 meters prior to the traffic light because of there is a bicycle lane, we check signal to the right, right blind spot for bicycle lane and 5 meters before turning at the intersection, check one more time blind spot for, for bicycle and pedestrian. The light is green, we do not stop but slowly turn right, the maximum speed when you turn is 20, no more than that. The sign in the area is 40 kilometers, so when you see this sign, regardless of the driving school, regardless of the school zone or uh, non-school zone, you should not go more than 40. Prior to the intersection, you have to use the signal. You must stop prior to the first white line. And always stop, you only stop once. Once you turn, do not hesitate, go with the right line spot because we turn into the right. Best way of controlling steering and hold the steering, the position is 9 and 3, that the Canadian style. And with, when you're trying to right or left, try use hand over hand rather than pull and push. Pull and push is good, but hand over hand is safer and is faster. We're turning left, this always stop. We stop once, wait for our turn, not out, now it's our turn, do not hesitate, go with left line spot because we're turning left. So at always stop, whoever stop first can go first. But you must stop prior to the first white line and watch for pedestrian. If the pedestrian five meter behind the intersection, you still must wait for them to cross. But if the car comes after you and you are ahead of them, you should go first. The, di the direction of the always stop is not the issue. Whoever stop first can go first. Now we turn into the side road and I'm trying to explain to you how you cross the stop sign. We turn in one of the side road. Remember do not go more than 40 kilometers. That's the maximum speed in the area. Some area, city, they put the sign the maximum speed in the area is 40. So whether you are in the school zone or not, you must go 40. While you are driving in the residential area, watch for the pet, for the kids, for every possible potential hazard. Now we are approaching the stop sign. Pay attention and learn how to cross the stop sign. I'm going to turn right, so signal to the right prior to the intersection. If there is a sidewalk, you must stop at the edge of the sidewalk. Your bumper should be stopped at the edge of the sidewalk. Check left, check right. 
right blind spot and go to the edge of the road and check the road. If there is a car, we will stop. If there is no car, you drive slowly with caution, okay? Now, once you are on the road, you go back to the 40. Don't go 30 or 20, say, yeah, if I drive slow, is good. No, don't try to impede the traffic. If the maximum is 40 and you can go 40 and the road is clear, you better go 40. You can slow down for two reasons, either bad road condition or either slow down because of the traffic. Other than that, you have no excuse to slow down too much. When you are crossing the road, the cars on the side road, you must go with the signal blind spot. And when you can come up to your side, you must go with the signal and right blind spot. When you are crossing the speed hump, you sh your speed should be 30. And prior to the speed hump, you must go with the brake. That's the safest way. Remember, you may have a two months old baby in the car, or you may have a 90 years old senior passengers in the car. For those kind of people, the neck broken is very fragile. The neck is, they are very fragile for the neck pain. So be careful and go slowly. As slow as possible over the speed hump, okay? You can ride at this, always stop. You stop prior to this white line, wait for our turn, right blind spot and go. I'm uh, teaching people uh, mostly in North London, Elderton, uh, Torrendale, Komoka, Lucan, uh, Byron, and North since 2019. Uh, so hopefully you guys could call us and uh, you could uh, work together and uh, teach you the best way possible to improve your kids' driving lessons and be prepare them not only to get their license but also be safe driver in the rest of their life thank you